Hello there Pixel Pushers, Sadiq Hussain here with another Affinity Photo tutorial. Uh, I'm actually sitting here on the bank of uh, the Grand Union Canal, the, um, the 125 mile canal that connects um, Birmingham and, uh, and London, uh, built uh, sort of 250 years ago and, uh, and was in its heyday in the 1800s, uh, but of course now it's pretty much a leisurely pursuit activity avenue uh, um, play, playground for um, le pleasure boats, narrow boats and so on. But it's a lovely um, s s uh, winter's uh, February afternoon and we've just had a walk along the uh, canal and taken some, pho some photographs and this is one of them and we're just going to give that a bit, little bit of a treat with. So first of all we're going to develop it. So before we click on develop let's just go to the basics tab and it's actually a pretty good exposure already, but I'm just going to bring up the exposure a little. Uh, I want to increase the black points and maybe bring up the brightness, but not too much. That should be sufficient. Uh, we could increase the contrast a little. Uh, certainly the clarity helps because if we sort of zoom into this, the brickwork there, if we bring the clarity down and then bring it up, you'll see the difference. So we just uh, change them with the basic setting, saturation, vibrance and uh, the details just brought up the detail refinement a little bit doesn't need a huge amount click develop that'll take us in the photo into the photo persona which is where the main editing will do sorry i just got interrupted then by some uh, dogs uh, so it's a popular dog walking uh, location and uh, um, so i'm happy with that uh, what we want to really look at doing is uh, first of all just bring up the vibrancy a little bit which a quick way of doing that is duplicating it as I've shown you before changing the blend modes to either overlay soft light or hard light um, I think soft light works well there yeah, so it's not too harsh but then bringing down the effect because it's a little bit too dark here so just subtly bringing that down to about 20-30% something like that okay and if we see it before and after it's just got a little bit more punch, a little bit more contrast. Okay, and then we just want to put an adjustment layer on. Now, obviously there's a huge number of adjustment layers, but I'm gonna go down with the gradient map again. Uh, but this time I want to make, because of the slates of the roofs were uh, sort of an orange color, if I, if I make the, um, uh, the, the, uh, the dark areas, um, sort of an orange colour say there and then the light more of a, a blue light blue to reflect the sky okay and this middle point we want to delete so we've got basically the contrast between the dark and the light okay but we want to bring the opacity down of course Okay, so we're going to keep it at a strength of just 10%. So it's very subtle. And you might think, actually, it looks better without it. 
I'm just going to apply that and then now we're going to put a border around it okay so I'm going to combine all those together uh, merge visible so that co combines all of them into one layer at the top which then allows me to put a border on it so fairly easily click on effects click on outline and uh, we want to change the radius quite high up uh, we want it on the inside uh, don't want it to be black want it to be white and just increase that a little bit just a simple border rather than one of those fancy brush borders that we did in the previous video okay and that sort of complements the, the one side of the bridge uh, the white there and of course the white on the buildings as well okay that's a very quick video on how to take a simple stroll uh, uh, on a, a winter's day lovely clear blue sky uh, capture a good image and then give it a, a little bit of a color grade and putting a border around it thanks for watching and i'll see you next time